Mm, creating a normal map in a library is actually quite easy. Use uh, the deep pond uh, normal map node, normal cast node actually. Um, all right, so we got two objects here. We got one bigger one and one smaller one. So we're just going to calculate the normal map based on the difference between these two objects. Um, so I'll place them in the same position and uh, let's have a look at the nodes. Um, so I got this normal cast node hooked into the diffuse shading and uh, render and that's it. Uh, notice that I'm using the um, surface, uh, surface picking camera and uh, the big object and the UV map of that object. And that's all there is to it really. As far as the settings here, using the UV map and the distance that I want and tangent. So that's it really. That's that's all there is to it. That's how to make uh, create a normal map. Uh, you can also create a high distance map. Um, so instead of having color shading hooked into the diffuse shading, we'll say high distance hooked into the diffuse shading and render. And that's how to create a displacement map. Uh, of course it will not dis actually displace uh, the geometry of that object because we're in the surface editor. But uh, uh, that's how you do it and you just save this and you can use it as a displacement map. It's really hard to see what's going on here so you can cheat by hooking this into the input and um, use a curve and hook that into the diffuse shading. So now you can see what's going on and use this as a displacement map. Um, yeah, that's it.